Hey guys, it's LPS Pie 101 here. Sorry I haven't made a video in like forever, but I'm gonna be showing you how to make a little pet shop window display for like make a little pet shop boutique or any type of store. So let's get started. I'm gonna be taking this very old VCR box where you hold your VCRs into a nice little window display. So basically, I'm just gonna cut off this whole entire square spot. And it's very handy because the bottom's already chopped off. And the plastic of an old little's pet shop package box. There might be a hole in it, but don't worry. I think I got that covered. Well, first things first. I gotta cut off this whole entire thing. It's gonna be hard because it's kind of th really thick. And, and you can absolutely not use little baby kitty scissors. No. Scissors aren't tough enough, or kind of tough. Well, this one's a little bit looser, but other scissors, still not tough enough. You gotta use the big old adult scissors. Adult supervision advised. Let's see here. It's negative. Okay. Take your box. You might want to start cutting the edges right here and this side, not the top first. Because, if you have a box just exactly like mine, flip the top and you can't have a perfect little garage. But, we're not here to talk about that. We're trying to talk about window displaying. Okay, so I might have, like, ripped a few things here and there trying to rip, or, um, cut it. But don't worry, we can always fix that with a few decorations and accessories made by construction paper or scrapbooking paper. So, the next step we gotta do is cut the plastic because we're going to be using that. Okay, I've cut it down to the size I practically want. And there might be a little pet shop sign in the way. Just rip that right off, but do it carefully so there's less um, like cardboard stuff and sticky stuff on the plastic. But if you want to, just scoot it over and you can have the little pet shop sign if you want it. But I don't really want it there, so I'm just going to take it off. So, uh, this is a display case so far, and I know there's some white stuff right here, but don't worry, I'm going to cover that up, and this hole, I'm still going to use this hole, so don't worry. And if you're wondering how I took it off and stuff, I just cut it and took some soap and water, because this is plastic, it's a little bit of water resistant, and I just pretty much just, like, washed it, tried to scrape it off, but I'm going to cover that, so no worries. Next, I'm going to tape down or glue down, but I prefer tape. You can use small tape or you can use a big scotch tape, but I'm just going to use this because um, we're low on the big scotch tape, so I'm just going to use this. You can do whatever you want to do, but I'm just going to use this. You may want to um, um, tape the sides first so it's more even. Next, you want to tape the top. Just make sure it's nice and steady there. Might want to get probably in the middle. If you need more tape, then uh, get more tape. Then finally, you do the other side, but there might be extra stuff on the sides. So if there is extra stuff, you can leave it there or cut a little bit more. Now, since there's no excess over here because I cut it and it's very small, uh, there's a little piece right here. Maybe I'll do something with that. Or I'll just tape this part. But don't worry. I'm going to be covering it with um, construction paper. So, make it easier. Okay, I've taped the sides. Now time for the fun part.
Okay, so now I have my trims all around my little box thing. You don't have to put one on the bottom. I think it doesn't really look that good, but there's like a scratch on the bottom. I just don't want to show it. So, um, now here comes the fun part. Do you have little Pet Shop McDonald toys and you don't really know how to take them off? I don't really know how to take them off either. And if you take them off, then they can't really stand up. So what do you do with them? You use them as mannequins. Because there is no bottom, you can just slip on anything under it, and then bam. And since the back is like a boring block, and all you can do is match it is black and white clothes, what you can do is cut a piece of white paper. This is, this is extra from when I did the trims. Slide it under. See if it's a good fit. Be sure to leave some extra piece. I'll show you why later. have a white background. That's great. You can color and draw whatever you'd like on it. Your background doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I mean, I just kind of like scribbled all over this just to make a background. Flip it on under the and then fold the space, the space down. Dress up your little mannequins here. If it keeps falling down, you can put one little strip of tape right about here. So, and for the little hole, put in a little pet shop bucket. A place where money can be can be put to donate to charity. And you're done.